I mean, this is not going to win any food presentation competitions. Today on the brown table, some sardines from Beechcliff. One in mustard, one in hot sauce. So as you can see, unlike other canned sardines, these are not packed in olive oil, and that is what caught my attention. So we have one that are packed in mustard sauce, I'm assuming that's just yellow mustard of some kind, and one that is packed in, or some sardines that are packed in Louisiana hot sauce, which is a specific kind of hot sauce. I will post a picture of it right here so you know what I'm talking about. So this is interesting because in general when I eat sardines I do put hot sauce on it and sometimes it is that specific Louisiana hot sauce and I'm curious to see how these go because again the only sardines I've really had from a can always are packed in olive oil or extra virgin olive oil and as you can see these are not. So I'm definitely intrigued. Let's take a quick look at the tins themselves. Fairly standard packaging, you know expiry date, nothing really interesting on the back. Quite plain, I would have to say, just the one label. So here we have the mustard sauce variety there. Um, so we got their website. They are wild, wild caught. And if we take a quick look at the ingredients, we have some sprats. So, you know, uh, one of the various fish that are sold under the sardine label. I'm sure there are rules about uh, laws and rules about that, but I could not tell you what they are. Interestingly, it does not really... Um, you know, it's not as, let's say, pure as some other sardine tins, but I'm assuming that a lot of this comes from the mustard sauce itself. So you have your sprats, some water, and then the mustard flour, etc., and so on. And I'm assuming these all, you know, like the extra stuff that you see here, like the xanthan gum, turmeric, spices, etc., have to do with the mustard sauce itself. It's distributed by Bumblebee Seafood, so you may recognize them from your local tuna can, <laughs> let's say. But this is their sardine product. And it's interesting, they don't actually write the nutritional facts on the tin. We have to write to the address if we want that. Let's take a quick look at the hot sauce variant here. So again, fairly simple, plain tin. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Uh, but, you know, nothing really to look at besides the front cover here. I do like the lighthouse motif that they have there. I, I do like that. Quite clean packaging, quite simple, you know. And, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, same net weight, ingredients, basically the same, except, you know, the sprats and sardines, or we'll just call them sardines, except that the sardines themselves are in hot sauce, specifically the Louisiana kind. Now, I don't know if that means that the hot sauce itself is from Louisiana, or that's just the brand name. I'm pretty sure that's just the brand name. Again, I've put the bottle up previously, so you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, really, there's not much to look at here. Let's go ahead and try these. I am really interested in how both of these taste. Again, like I said, when I eat sardines, usually it comes in olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. I will add some hot sauce to it. I've never added mustard to it, but I can see that being good. You usually want something a little tangy to, you know, help offset some of the fishiness of the sardines. So we're going to start with the mustard sauce and then we'll move on to the hot sauce variant. So let's get the hot sauce one out of the way here and let's bring in a plate and a fork. So we have our plate here. We have our sardine tin and we're going to open it, but instead of using the pull tab, I am going to use a can opener. Why? Because the pull tab is just not worth the mess. So we're going to keep going here as I uh, shimmy my can opener around. So far, no real smell coming yet. And let's see. All right, it seems like that might be it. Now I have had these in my pantry for a while, but I did not want to put them up so soon after my last fish uh, video because I didn't want to be uh, just the channel that does fish videos, not that there's anything wrong with that. So we're going to go around one more time here and it does not seem like it got it all open. And actually I can already see just peeking out very yellow sauce, very yellow indeed. All right, sorry, bit of a jump cut there, but I was having trouble opening the can and I didn't notice that my camera had stopped filming. So we finally have the can open. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Let's get this out of the way here. So this is the first look at it. Um, definitely very mustardy. I mean, I really don't know what else I was expecting. You can see it is a yellow mustard. So, you know, not a fancy brown one or anything like that. Let's take a closer look. Oop. So you can see it is quite liquidy still. It's not as solid as it may appear as I tilt it. You can see it moving around in the tin. It does smell very mustardy, 
but just like a regular yellow mustard, it's something you may put on a hot dog or something like that. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's grab our spoon, oh, sorry, spoon. Let's go ahead and grab our fork. That's what this is called. And I'm gonna try some of the mustard first. So it does just taste like a regular mustard, as I, uh, regular yellow mustard, as I said. Some of you put on a hot dog or a corned beef sandwich or something like that. It is interesting because it does have a tinge of fishiness to it because obviously, you know, the fish has been marinating in the mustard and the mustard has been marinating with the fish. Although it is really made my mouth salivate. So let's go ahead and try some of the fish itself. It is kind of hard to see how many fish are in here. It looks like a good amount. And I am curious about how this will go. So let's give this a good, good taste here. Wow. Okay. I have to say they really dovetail well together. I'm not that surprised. In general, I find that canned fish really pairs well with something a bit salty, a bit tart. It has, you know, almost a pickle quality to it. And while mustard doesn't taste exactly like pickles, it does have some of the same flavor undertones of that, uh, you know, kind of punch to the back of your tongue. It makes you salivate. And it's just a wonderful accompaniment. I must say, I do quite enjoy this. Let's take another bite here. I do wonder if it's not exactly well balanced. In some ways, the mustard really kind of drowns out the fish. Maybe I need to take a bigger chunk of fish. But I, I really, it's quite fascinating. You know, usually you think a canned fish, it's going to be heavy uh, flavor-wise. You know, it's going to be overwhelming flavor-wise. But in this, I really taste more of the mustard than anything. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. But would I get this over a regular can of uh, sardines that is just packed in olive oil or extra virgin olive oil? I don't know. The packed in olive oil variants have a much more subtle flavor. Of course, this mustard is really just a punch of the taste buds in a good way. Please don't, you know, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy it. But I would say this has very specific uses. Maybe if you're making a specific dish or some kind of crudite, or a, a, I don't know, some kind of tasting platter, <laughs> I would get this. Uh, but if you're in the market for just a canned sardine, I would probably go for one that is just in olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna give this a medium. It's not bad at all, it's quite delicious, but I do think it takes away something from the deliciousness of the sardines themselves. Overall, I did enjoy it. I would not recommend it over sardines in just regular olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. So let's put, put this off to the side here. Make sure to not ruin our lovely table. And let us get the hot sauce one going. So let's get the fork out of the way. And let's take a look at the hot sauce one. So we're gonna use the can opener to get it open again. I know, I know, but it's the easiest way to ensure that there is no mess and I really don't want to be cleaning up hot sauce or mustard from my table. So we are still going around. I really do like these can openers. Uh, you know, they're definitely a bit of a different style than what you might consider a stereotypical can opener. Although it does create something of a racket. <laughs> All right, so we're going around one more time and that should do it. And I can already see some hot sauce leaking out the side here. I don't know if you can catch that on camera. You can actually. So let's pop the tin here. Okay. And we are going to pull the top off to reveal the contents within. Hmm. Perhaps I would have been better using the pull top, but no matter. Okay. So much more liquid uh, sauce here. Very clearly your stereotypical Louisiana hot sauce. Again, I've probably put the bottle up before, so you should know what that is by now. Let's take a quick sniff here. Wow. Um, you do get the hot sauce. More than that, you get the uh, smell of the fish, which I am happy about. I do think the mustard one that we previously looked at was a little unbalanced. I will say I find this more appetizing. <laughs> Maybe hard to believe, but you know, just the way that mustard one was caked all over the fish definitely gave it, you know, a slightly unappetizing look. But I mean, this is not going to win any food presentation competitions, but 
right, for what it is, I think this could be look a lot worse. So let's taste the hot sauce first. We'll get our fork out. Now, of course, it's hard to just quote unquote taste a runny hot sauce like this. So we're just going to try and get some on the fork here. That is actually delicious. Should I make a fish infused hot sauce? Let me know in the comments. I'm very, very impressed with this. Nice amount of heat, probably roughly the heat of a jalapeno, maybe a bit less. Let's go ahead and try the fish. I should point out that in general, when I do eat sardines out of a can, I do put hot sauce on it. And sometimes it is the specific Louisiana brand one that they have mentioned on the packaging here. As I noticed that I have hot sauce all over my finger, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Alrighty. Okay, much more balanced than the mustard one. The hot sauce, again, it's not an overpowering hot sauce. I would definitely classify it as a mild, mild hot sauce. There is some heat, don't get me wrong. I can feel it building up at the back of my tongue, but it balances very well with the fish. Now the question remains, is it the same as having the sardines in olive oil and then putting the uh, hot sauce on the sardines when I'm preparing them to be eaten? I'm not so sure about that. I do think it takes away something from the flavor of the fish by how much there is on it, you know. When I, sorry, let me just put that down. You don't want to be staring at a fish spine, I assume, on the end of my fork here. When I put hot sauce on my sardines, it's not, you know, drenching it in hot sauce like it is here. It's more of a drizzle, let's say. It adds a nice balance, complements the fishy flavor. Here, the balance of flavors is very much 50-50. You definitely get the fishiness of the sardines. That's not overpowered by the hot sauce, but the hot sauce is much more present. And I don't know how I feel about that. I would probably prefer uh, the way I do when I eat fish that is just packed in olive oil. So again, I'm probably gonna have to give this a medium recommendation. You know, if you're kind of feeling lazy, you don't want to break out, uh, you know, your usual sardine eating kit of toast and cheese or pickled onions or whatever it is. Maybe you just want to dip some crackers into the sardine tin. This would be an excellent uh, way to consume said sardines. I do think it's good. It would not be my go-to, but I don't regret buying it. And I'm going to enjoy eating both of these tins for my lunch today. So that's all for me today. Remember, try something new. You never know what you might like. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. And thank you for dining with us today at the Brown Table.